do it so that so she'll be able to get it nice and soaked with water. There's no water on it. Sorry, we it's the bottom one. Thank you. No, she's holding it. Yeah. There's no water. Well, you, you said you want to do it. Yeah, and I also want to hold it. Okay, well you can hold it, but I'm gonna help you hold it too. No. Yes. Stop it, Alexis. She's holding it because it's gonna spill on you. Okay. And then when it does, you'll be wet and angry. <laughs> yes, I'm laughing at you because you don't listen. Mm. Back to you. Mm, right back at you. I can mm. stick my tongue out too. Alright, I'm going to put a flush on that real quick. Okay, mm. We can play these games if you'd like. You can't say leave me alone, but you call me to your bedside every five seconds. You can't. Not until I'm done listening to you. Lexi, I need to check your pants make sure you're not dirty. I'm not. Mom. Yes? I'm saying no. You say that as if it's any better. Being right. Like, it's, it's wasting your energy trying to get them to see and Hi. all right what do you know nurses came in no surprise um but i did find this empty room that i got permission to use so where was i where was I for real? Um, I remember where I left off at. It's not worth it in the end. Um, trying to justify your clap back um, based off of what somebody did or what somebody said to you. It's just stupid and it makes you look like an ass at the end of the day. You think it feels good, like, in the moment. I, some people get satisfaction, I guess, out of, like, reading a person for filth every chance they can get. But it doesn't make me feel good after I've done it. Um, I'm being, I know I'm, I'm being challenged in this area for a reason. You don't get challenges in life for no reason. Some people feel like when challenges challenges come your way, um, they think it's a hindrance. When in all actuality, it's an opportunity for growth and an opportunity to get you one step closer to where you're trying to be in life. You don't get promoted just because you want to get promoted you have to go through trials you have to go through tests and challenges you have to prove yourself basically so i know i want to be great i want to be big i want to change lives i can't change lives being flip at the mouth i know my mother's probably watching this like yes girl um it's so hard i'm like got a frog in my throat who knew something as simple as talking about keeping my mouth shut would send me into tears <laughs> holding my tongue is hard especially when you know within like your heart your deep the deepest of the deep you know when you've been wronged and you just feel like you gotta say something because if you don't, you won't be validated or you, 
he won't be heard all right that's enough and it's a horrible feeling to not be heard it's it's a horrible feeling when especially when you're going through something and you don't feel like you're being heard or maybe you feel like you can't hold your tongue because a certain situation has shed light on um, another person's flaws that they might not see as flaws but you know they ain't right and they know they ain't right they just justify it in their brain um, and make it okay within themselves and then they continue those behaviors and you're just left like are you kidding me? Like, you you know, you know, you ain't right. So you're sitting here driving yourself crazy. Because it's just like, does anybody else see this? Does anybody else see this? Like, it can't just be me. You just feel like you gotta say, you gotta snap at them. You gotta take every opportunity to let them know about themselves that is one way to get a person to be set in their ways and to not change if you like constantly just read them and just look at them and discuss they'll forever be the way they are they'll just think you're a complete ass (laughs) and they'll keep on about their business some things are better left unsaid time will tell i didn't think i was gonna be in my feelings like this (laughs) I just have to keep telling myself, I'm here for a reason. I prayed and asked God to help me to be a better mother, to improve my listening skills. Honestly, ain't no better place for me to practice being a better mother than being at Lexi's bedside. All right, hold on. I asked him to to grant me opportunities. that would teach me how to be a better mother and here we are i'm here for a purpose and i can't let small things rise up in me and throw me off and like get to me and get me distracted to the point where i'm consumed with like anger and frustration um and then i forget why i'm here in the first place my growth immediately stops when I get distracted by those little things, by somebody triggering me. And I know I'm probably gonna put my foot in my mouth because when I wanna clap back or say something smart, I have to remember that this video, I'm probably so emotional because I'm looking at the big picture and I, I think I'm slowly starting to realize what can happen here. That me and Alexis can come out of here different for the better versus letting this situation turn us into something nasty. Um, So I'm gonna continue to have faith and breathe when I need to breathe. It's just me and her here on a regular basis. So nobody else really knows what we feel. Nobody else can really tap into the heaviness of being stuck. This is so awkward. I'm probably gonna like watch this and be like, ooh. (laughs) But I know it's gonna get better. Yeah, I think it's the helicopter. I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, some of my feelings. I'm generally positive in the videos that I've been posting, but I just want you guys to know that it's not always easy. Sometimes Lexi and I both go go to sleep in tears. But it's okay because there's a bigger picture and I just gotta hold on for the both of us. So this is Reality Unzipped signing out. Stay tuned because there's gonna be a lot more feelings to share. Um, and I hope you guys stick along for the ride.